What's up you guys and welcome to Nashville, Tennessee. Honestly, probably one of my favorite, favorite destinations that we visited so far in the US. We're actually staying in this tiny house and I can't wait to show you guys around. So this is actually our first tiny home that we're staying in and visiting that's actually on a trailer. And it's really cool because that is actually exactly what Jordan and I want to be building when we build our tiny home. We wanna build it on a trailer. So something that's really, really unique about this specific tiny house is that it's built on the same property of a very, very famous recording studio. They've recorded music with people such as Blake Shelton, Little Big Town, and even Dolly Parton. So before we take a look on the inside of this adorable, adorable tiny house, let's take a look at the utilities in the back. So this area here usually isn't my favorite thing about the tiny home, but it's necessary. So for all you tiny house nerds out there, this is the utility area. So over here, you have a Bosch instant hot water heater. You have a 20 pound propane tank and a fuse box. Box, how exciting. <laughs> the exterior of the house is actually made out of something called smart siding, which is compressed wood shavings. It's an alternative to wood because it's a little bit more durable. It's really strong and it's good for preventing anything like mold or damage from hail, really hard rain, snow, anything like that. And another really important thing to remember is that this stuff is a lot less weight than typical wood. So it's really nice when you put it on a trailer because if you want to move this, this specific trailer is only 9,000 pounds, which honestly blew my mind because our bus that we live in is over 10,000 pounds. <laughs> so one of the reasons that we were so, so drawn to Nashville is not only because of the amazing nightlife and the music, but because they've recently put in laws and regulations that allow you to add a tiny house on your property as a secondary housing unit. So now that we've gotten all the boring parts taken care of, I know you guys have been waiting to see the inside, so let's take a step in and show you guys the best part. The first thing that I notice when I step into the interior of the space is the spaciousness which is really surprising because it's about only 230 square feet. The first floor living space is actually only about 160 square feet, which you would never be able to tell because when you walk in, the spacious ceilings really make it feel like it's so much bigger than it actually is. So taking a quick look at the living room area, it's actually pretty spacious. The entertainment center that you have over here has a ton of shelves that you can keep stuff in and you have a pretty decent sized couch. The one thing that I will say is I think that it's really cool that they felt um, inspired to kind of bring in just your typical couch where for Jordan and I we would want to utilize that space a little bit better and probably get something that would either turn into a futon to accommodate for more people or that would open up and be able to store things underneath. The interior definitely has a very modern feel to it so it has a lot of whites and blacks and wood finishes but it also has a little pop of teal which I think brings in a really fun exciting energy to it. So one of the coolest things that I think the builder did was to keep going with that kind of spaciousness feel and he put all of the shelves and the cupboards I guess you could say on the outside for display. So typically in a kitchen you'll have cupboards with all of the cutlery and the cups and bowls and everything in the cupboards kind of taking up a lot of space where in this case all of the shelving and the kitchenware is on display and open easy for access. So another way that they kept the space very open is they made this little contractable table. So you can just pull it up like so and you put the little stools on the side and you have your own little breakfast nook. So now let's take a short little walk to the kitchen. Thing I definitely noticed was the size of the sink. This is definitely one thing that Jordan and I want to incorporate in our, in our kitchen is a very, very large sink. So you'll see this undermount granite sink surrounded by this absolutely gorgeous hickory countertop. And then as you make your way down further into the kitchen, you'll see this four burner stove top that is fueled by the 20 pound propane tank that we saw outside in the utility closet. And of course, the most important part, a coffee maker. 
You're definitely not gonna have any problem with kitchen space because you have this pretty decent sized refrigerator and freezer, which is a huge upgrade from what Jordan and I have in our little school bus. And then you even have all of the storage space underneath the countertop and above the fridge. So before we take a little walk up this grand staircase up to the master bedroom, I just wanna show you guys a cool little feature they built into the staircase, which is a bunch of little storage containers that you could probably throw clothes, shoes, or whatever else, books, that you wanna put down there. So because they decided to make the first floor a little bit more spacious than you typically would find in a tiny house, they kind of compromised a little bit on the bedroom. So the bedroom has a very kind of zen, simple vibe to it. I actually really, really like it. But the headspace is very small. So even though they compromise a little bit on the headspace here, the space of the bedroom is actually pretty decent. They fit a queen size bed up here. You probably could fit a king size bed, but they decided to put some storage space on the right side of the bedroom over there. You could fit shoes, they have outlets, you can plug in your electronics, your laptops, you can Netflix and chill, whatever you want, whatever you're feeling. And you have two beautiful windows to the outdoors that actually open, they're screened in, so you can have some nice fresh air, um, some nice natural light coming in. It kind of gives it a really, really beautiful feel. So as a child, I always wanted a ladder to climb up to my bed. I thought it was super cool, and I never got one. And as an adult, I still want one. So, this may be something that we might have to add to our tiny house, Jordan. And yes, he's the one behind the camera, if y'all are wondering. <laughs> so honestly, this space would be perfect for a young child. Um, if they're not super clumsy, or even just guests that you would want to come stay at your little tiny house with you. So I will say that the bathroom here is pretty basic, but one of the things that they did add is this really, really awesome barn door. So you slide it over to the left on these little slide hinges here, and that's to open the door. So let's take a little look on the inside. So it's nothing really too, too special. You have your typical toilet, shower, some shelving space, a little window to get some fresh air. But I will say, it's a hell of a lot more than what we have in our little YMCA bus. So we're super excited to share with you guys this tiny house in the US, the first one on an actual trailer, which is exactly what Jordan and I wanna do. And we were super excited to bring you guys along for this adventure before we head back to Central America. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want any more details of this place, we'll put it in the link in the description and we'll see you guys very soon. Adios. I decided to put You're definitely not gonna have any Huh Just in the plates and the mugs <laughs> Of course, the most important part A coffee maker We can do this <laughs> Woo! So this tiny house is definitely not built for you old folks out there because you want to be able to climb this mother Here we go. Don't laugh. Shh. Shut up. Shut up. She's laughing. Go for it. Okay, ready? Try it. <laughs> Try it. Is she hidden? Put your arms, put your arms back better. So one of my absolute favorite, favorite things about this space here is the bathroom. But not only the bathroom, the bathroom door. So we're gonna take a look behind this magical door right here. Uh, let's take a step in. <laughs>